All right, this is problem number one from the uh, 2014 Calculus AB and Calculus BC exams, and it is a calculator question. So the first thing that you should do is uh, take the function that you're given, which is a of t, and store it on your calculator. So I'm going to assume that you have that stored, and uh, mostly I'm going to show you the work, and then the calculator stuff is just pressing buttons. So the first question is to find the average rate of change. Average rate of change is algebra and slope. Uh, so what we have here, it's going to be a of 30 minus a of 0 over 30 minus 0. And then you grab your calculator, you punch it in. So you get it's approximately negative 0 0.197. We need units of measure. So um, a of t is measured in pounds, and t is measured in days. So that's going to be in pounds per day. And that's going to be the answer to part a. The next part is to find a prime of 15. Well, that's just pressing buttons. Um, so you're always allowed to find numerical derivatives on your calculator. So you just press it, punch it in. So I get a of a prime of 15 is uh, approximately negative 0.164 pounds per day. I need to interpret this. Um, so what I'm going to say is at uh, t equals 15 days, the um, amount of clippings uh, in the bin, I guess, uh, is decreasing since the rate of change is negative uh, at a rate of uh, negative 0 0.164 pounds per day. So uh, you'll have fewer clippings in the bin. All right, let's take a look at the next one. So we want, um, we need the time uh, at which the amount of grass clippings in the bin is equal to the average amount of grass clippings in the bin on the interval from 0 to 30. Um, so the average amount of grass clippings, that's the average value of A of t. So that's going to be the integral of A of t divided by the interval. So that's going to be, um, we'll get the integral, so 0 to 30 of a of t. I forgot a dt there. Um, so what we want to do is we want to solve this equation. And that's a calculator problem. So what I, did, I actually just use solve on my calculator. Uh, you could find the numerical value, graph it, graph a of t, um, find the intersection. Uh, but anyway, I get t is approximately uh, 12.415. I'm going to add in some dt's here. So I got a dt, and then over here, dt. Okay, and uh, the last part of this question is actually just going to tell you to use a tangent line. So we have, uh, when t is greater than 30, we use uh, the linear approximation, which is another way of saying tangent line, at t equals 30. Um, so let's write that out. So L of t is going to be uh, A of 30, so what you have at 30, plus A prime of 30, the slope, times the quantity t minus 30. So that's L of t. And uh, I, I don't really even think you need to write out uh, a numerical value, as long as you've written what I wrote there. But in case you're curious, um, I got this. Okay. And then uh, we want to use L of t to predict the time at which there will be 0.5 pounds of grass clippings remaining. So I want to solve L of t equals 0.5. You can do that by graphing or using solve. So I get t is 35.054 days. Uh, and that's question number one from uh, both the AB and the BC exam. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.